Well, it really is amazing to hear that Yasuke for Assassin's Creed is also LGBTQ. Well, I put up this video on Ubisoft Sparks of War on Wikipedia for what is real and what isn't over Yasuke. And now it's getting even more convoluted with Ubisoft coming out and confirming that there's romance options in the game for Assassin's Creed Shadow and with the narrative designer being someone that looks at Buddhist priests and, and having relationships with young boys. This is just another layer that they're that they're pushing along and I'm seeing it in my comments where now they're making him gay and non-binary as well. Uh, Memoirs of a Geisha. Uh, no, first, his first name is Yaz Queen. Like, this is the situation that we are facing with now with Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed. Just, it's time to walk away from the game, I think, at this point. But, don't walk away from this channel. Go hit the subscribe button today. Do yourself a favor and hit it because we cover all sorts of things in gaming news and I try to give my own personal conjecture on these situations. Now, this is a uh, article that Ubisoft put up on their website. Assassin's Creed Shadow launches November 15th features dual protagonists in feudal Japan. I'm just gonna draw attention to Ubisoft Quebec. You know, everything that's amazing in video games nowadays, I'm saying this sarcastically, comes out of Quebec and Montreal now. What they are doing is ruining games. Ubisoft Quebec focus thoroughly the development of Assassin's Creed Shadow has been fulfilled two iconic player franchises, Shinobi and Samurai, or AKA Ninja and Samurai and ensure that the late Sengoku period setting, known as its political tournament, warfare, and dramatic social reformation, serves as a authentic backdrop for the pair. Authentic. This is authentic, apparently. This means by uh, this means both protagonists offer vastly different gameplay experiences and overlapping perspectives on a transformative moment in Japan's history. I've covered the the history of this in a couple videos over top of this. Go take a look at that. Maybe I need to put this into a full playlist and add it on here. But I'm gonna bring this down to a little bit here. The two sides of the same coin, Nao and Yasuke. Dispatch, no, disparity personalities also lead them to have different relationships and rapports with other characters and they don't always feel the same way about people nor do they always feel the same way about them romantically they are also attract no, will also attract and be attracted to all or two different types of people though the pair players will get to experience a multitude of of relationships i thought assassin's creed was just a video game where much more like batman in that sense where it's stealthily you're doing missions you're going through the game uh you know i understand a little bit of romance here and then uh in these games but this i i i went searching because i haven't played an assassin's creed game in quite a long time i played the first couple and then i just kind of gave up on it because i didn't have any more interest in it but they really really went full in on the the romance assassin's creed Valhalla romance guide how to make sure your viking gets the horn this is from games radar again of course they're obsessed with sex and romance in these video games i just don't understand this so let's really look into the articles on this Bounding into comics, Ubisoft hints at LBGTQ romance options for Assassin's Creed Shadows, says Yasuke and No will, be, will attract and be attracted to different types of people. So th this is now a hint towards them being LGBTQ, that Yasuke's gay. Let, 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 let me work this out right now. So, so Yasuke. A slave that comes over with an Italian uh, missionary gets handed over to a feudal lord dictator in an effort for them to be to now be his slave 
at the age of approximately 17, 16 to 17 years old under the rule of a dictator. And the dictator decides that Yasuke is now going to be a samurai by enjoying the feudal lord's own sword. Is this about right? Is this the story that Ubisoft really wants to tell for Assassin's Creed? That a, a dictator, a feudal lord, uh, decided to uh, take his slave and uh, do things to that slave in this manner. And now they're spinning it as he was the first black gay samurai of feudal Japan. Well, to this end, the developers use such vague terminology in describing the pair's potential romantic interests, suggests not only will the game feature straight romance trees, but also gay ones, and potentially, eventually, given the current media ecosystem, non-binary, transgender ones as well. Notably, notably, Shadows will not be the first franchise entry to allow players to enter into a gay relationship. In both Odyssey and Valhalla, players were presented with a variety of male and female romantic options, all of which were open to, to them regardless of which game's respective gendered protagonist they chose to play as. Ultimately, just two Yaksuke and No will be able to strike up a conversation with fully revealed when Assassin's Creed Shadows comes out on multiple consoles and PC. November 15th is going to be a very interesting day when this game actually comes out. Uh, you know, it's not every day you can sit there and say the, the first gay black samurai is, is being the protagonist of a video game. I guess write the stories you're going to write just in time for June because Pride Month is right around the corner and you know where all this is going to go. It's just going to get shoved in everyone's faces and corporations are going to sit there and use that opportunity to make every dollar count off of whatever rainbow flag they may show throughout the next month. I have no issues with people being gay or or whatever. You guys are absolutely amazing people. But this, where it, it just gets to the ridiculousness of it all, where now someone rewriting history, the story has been rewritten a few times, and now it's just going beyond that. I mean... Is this really the stories you want to play or do you want to actually go back to gaming where you can escape things and just not worry about it at all? Um, if you want to tell this story, go right ahead. We'll see where the sales go. Apparently it's one of the best pre-ordered games right now for, uh, for Assassin's Creed, but like Magic the Gathering, people just continue to buy these games and they will continue to buy and then they just sit there and they will just sit there on a shelf completely wrapped and not actually play so we'll have to wait to see where this game really goes anyway i'm your product Canadian phoenix in a shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe <music>